Okay, hello everyone, my name is Matt. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Zoom meeting and schedule and share that Zoom meeting with other people using Outlook Calendar. So first we're going to make the Zoom meeting, get the link, and then we're going to take that Zoom meeting and put it into Outlook and then share the Outlook uh, Calendar invitation with whoever you want your meeting to include. So let's get started. First things first, uh, we are going to want to open Zoom. So I'm using the Zoom app, um, the desktop app. If you don't have the desktop app, you'll have to go to your browser and go to zoom.us slash download and then download by clicking here the Zoom client for meetings. When you click download, um, it will uh, you'll choose a place where you want to save it and then from there you can install and open the Zoom app. So once you have the Zoom app installed on your computer, um, open it, enter in your username and password, and then we're going to go to schedule meeting. So um, what we're going to do is make a test meeting. And let's make it for uh, tomorrow. So that's June 15th um, from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, let's look down at the options here. Meeting ID, do generate automatically. Um, and then for security, you usually have to choose one between passcode and rate waiting room. I usually like doing waiting room, um, but you can do passcode or you can do both. Uh, and from uh, here, video, uh, this just is asking if you'd like your video to be on or off um, when the meeting starts and same with participants. I usually go with on. Um, audio, I usually select telephone and computer audio, and then calendar, um, you can choose what calendar you would want to make this in. Um, in this case, I am going to do other calendars because we're not going to use the Outlook plugin here. For advanced options, um, you can allow participants to join any time. That's usually the only one. Uh, if you want to record it, you can press automatically record. So once everything looks good here, double check you know, um, your date and your time. Uh, go ahead and click save um, and here is the meeting invitation so it says your meeting has been scheduled um, what I do from here is click copy invitation so that's gonna grab this whole thing when which you can see here has the zoom meeting link which is the most important important part of the invitation so what we do here is click copy invitation and that is going to copy the invitation to our clipboard. Then we can click close here. If you want to double check, you can always go to um, meetings. And you can see here tomorrow I have a test meeting scheduled from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Again, that copy invitation button is here. Um, if, you, uh, if you didn't get it the first time or if you need it again, you can always click copy invitation. Um, and now, now that we have the meeting scheduled in Zoom, we are going to go to Outlook and create a calendar invite. So open up your browser, go to Outlook, log in with your username and password. Um, and what we're going to do here is go to your calendar here on the left panel. And we're going to make a calendar event in Outlook um, for the uh, date and time that you schedule your Zoom meeting. So in this case, I'm going to uh, click on new event up here in the top left and we'll make this a test meeting. Um, and what I do, first thing I do is go to the description here and I just paste by clicking command V or control V, I paste the entire Zoom meeting into the description here. So that means everybody who gets this um, Outlook invite when we send it out will have all of the Zoom information. And then here's another nice little trick. I take the Zoom link, so this is because this is the most important part. If you're on a computer, this is what you're going to be using. And I will copy the Zoom link and paste it up here in the location field. So now the Zoom link is in the location, and all the Zoom details are in um, in the uh, meeting meeting notes, meeting details here. So now everybody who receives this invite. We'll have all of the Zoom info, and the last thing we have to do is click on Invite Attendees. So in this case, I'm just going to invite myself. 
Um, uh, but you would add the email addresses of everybody who you would like to send this meeting to. And once you add in a few people, or, may, or even just one, uh, in this case I'll do, I have two emails for myself, so I'll tap it, I'll, I'll add another one of my emails. You can add as many people as you want to this list, and from there, um, you're ready to send your meeting. So uh, once you click this big blue send uh, meeting, oh sorry, what we need to do is change it to the time, of course, make sure it's the same time. I said 3 to 3.30. So 3 p.m. to 3.30, make sure that lines up with um, what your Zoom meeting says. Um, now you're ready to send it, and you can click this blue button and send. And so uh, the, everybody that you've added to the invite list will get the um, calendar invite sent to their email, and they'll be able, able to easily join your next Zoom meeting. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.